Hey guys, Nick here with just a quick little freebie video. Um, I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to stitch together all of these different photos to create this final photo. So the way I lit this quickly was I was working on a tripod and then I just had a, my basically a light on a stick and a couple of um, speed lights with gels on them. And then I walked around this really cool truck and triggered my camera and in effect triggering my uh, flash as well and then lit it in a whole bunch of different ways. And so I wanted to show you how I'm going to stitch all of these different um, uh, photos together to come away with the final result. So uh, Photoshop makes this really easy for us. Um, if we change all of these layers to the lighten blend mode up here on our layers panel, we'll just change this over to lighten and boom, it brings forward all of the brightest pixels of each shot and blends them together. So obviously this is not going to work, but it gives you some nice behind the scenes as to how I lit this. I walked around with my softbox and lit this a whole bunch of different ways. So the way I'm going to put this together is one frame at a time, just using the parts that I like the effect of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all but the bottom one together. I'm going to hit control G and that's going to group all of those together. And now we've got them all here. Now I'm going to go one photo at a time. That way I can control what it is that I um, am using from each frame. So as I turn this off and on, we can see what this frame is bringing to the table. Uh, I like, I like the lighting on the truck. We want to keep that, but I want to get rid of this. Now I could use layer masks to get rid of this, but just to work a little bit faster because this is using the lighten blend mode, I can use a black paintbrush and paint directly on this frame. You, and when I do that, it's no longer going to use that frame at all. And I have to be careful because the sky is a little bit brighter in that frame. So I'll just use a nice big brush and boom. Now when I turn this off and on, all we're getting is the reflections on the truck and a little bit of lighting on the grass. I'm good with that. So I'm going to go frame by frame and do a similar thing. Um, I like everything that's doing, uh, except for our light up here. So I'm going to select that that frame, paint black up here, nice soft brush, and do that. And I'm going to do this for every single shot. I'm going to get rid of myself here, but keep the backlighting there. I like that. Get rid of me here. I'm going to turn my flow up here a little bit just so we can um, work a little faster. Like that. This one, really all that I like that is doing is maybe the highlight up here. I don't like the highlight on the, on the uh, window. So on this one, I'm going to not only get rid of myself from the frame like so, I'm going to get rid of the highlight up here because I did do another shot where I, uh, I had a speed light inside with a red gel on it and I want to make sure that that comes through. There's not much there, but we do to get that brighter sky. This one, not a whole lot going on in this one. I'm just going to delete this frame, drag it down to my bin, turn this one on. Not a whole lot going on here, but I'll leave it because we get a little bit of highlight back there. Not a lot on that one. So, see, my flash was not firing every single time. Uh, this one, it looks like I was trying to get some uh, underneath lighting here. Uh, not really much going on there. I'll delete that frame. A uh, little bit of extra highlight here, a little bit brighter sky. Really, all I like in this one is the brighter sky, so I'm going to paint black here. So all we're getting from this shot is the sky. Next frame, and now we're getting that red highlight inside the car. I think that's cool. I just put my speed light inside and pointed it at the, at the ceiling. Uh, a little brighter sky, a little brighter sky, a little brighter sky. My flash was definitely not going off every time because my batteries were dying. And then finally I have the light underneath the hood of the car. And what's cool about this is that because each one of these shots is on its own 
uh, frame, I can decrease the opacity of any given shot and just blend it in slightly. And like, I, it's kind of cool I have to have that kind of control. Now at this point, I'm pretty content with this. I'm just going to flatten it really quick. That way we've got one frame here. I'm going to go through and do a little bit of cloning, get rid of some of the distracting stuff in the background. So I'm gonna grab my clone brush and just kind of get rid of this little shop. Don't need that. Don't need this. We'll keep it nice and dark and mysterious back there. So there's nothing too distracting in our background. Now just to kind of brighten up this foreground a little bit and warm up the tones, I'm going to create a new layer, change this to, let's say, overlay, and then I'm going to grab kind of a bright but warm color, just a little bit of yellow mixed in there, and then with that selected, I am going to, with a low opacity, just going to kind of uh, make sure that I have my brush here <laughs> and with a low opacity about 20% just kind of hit this foreground with a little bit of this warm tone and that's going to brighten up the highlights of the photo and it's going to add a little bit of warmth and just give it a little bit of pop something like that don't want to overdo it but you can see I feel like that adds quite a bit to the shot and now uh, we can use this in reverse. I can pick a dark color and kind of a bluish dark color and just add a little bit of vignette to our sky there. Something like this. And it's a nice way of creating vignette yet keeping your textures and a little bit of contrast. Maybe I'll go ahead and do this. Something like that. and just kind of push that vignette out to the corners. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to share this quickly with you guys, and this is our final photo.